Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. The nail artist. Today I thought it would be splendid to paint my self-portrait because I'm a YouTuber who's obviously a sociopath with narcissistic tendencies. Aren't we all? <laughs> but instead of using basic regular paint to paint my self-portrait, I'm going to do it with nail polish. Because you see, the medium is the message, and the message is nail polish. And I also just have far more nail polish in my house than I do paint, so... <laughs> Before I paint myself, I need creative inspiration. I need to get my creative juices flowing. I need to cleanse my palette. I need to paint something else, is what I'm trying to say. What shall I paint as practice? Menchi! Yes, that's right. You beautiful, beautiful subject. I'm gonna paint you like one of my French girls. Let's pick some colors. It's okay, I'm just color matching. <gasps> she licked the bottle! Got a couple smock options. Let's see which one fits me. Menchie, get back in position. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Age is three and up. Well, I'm over three, so what the hell? <laughs> How about that? It's like a throne for the real queen that she is. Let's begin. Oh no, that, oh no, no, no. Menchie, that's not the position I wanted to be. That's good, I like it. I like the energy. Perfect, look at me, perfect. Oh no, 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 <laughs> shit. Her form is coming together. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen a lot of comments lately on my videos about how I should follow a Bob Ross tutorial. I mean, that sounds great and all, but why follow someone else when I can follow myself, you know? I don't need a man to tell me what to do, okay? I'm an independent woman artist. Independent collective female artistry collective, that's what I mean. <laughs> Just painted my daughter in a kid smile with nail polish. There's no tutorial out there for that already. <laughs> oh, we really want to capture the natural curves of the feline. You're basically drawing a chicken leg right here. See this? And then you have a second smaller chicken leg right here. Finger licking good. <laughs> Just like my cheek, she's licking her fingers basically. Let me see that beautiful face of yours. Okay, good girl. Excellent, excellent. Perfect. You are so cooperative, I don't understand how. That's right, take a seat. I know it's hard work out there for a model. Now my model has white paws. Canvas is white, so. What did Bob Ross call it, liquid white? <laughs> Do you think he meant white out? All right, let's start working on the definition of her face. So we've lost our subject, but that's okay because I feel like I'm far enough along. I can take it from here. How about some whiskers? Why, why does she look like a human? <laughs> this piece will go down in history. That's the greatest work of art of a cat ever painted with nail polish. You just saw Menchie walking down the hall. Could you please <laughs> return my subject? Oh, hey there Van Gogh, do you want some tea? And an artist needs her tea to work. <laughs> Do you actually want Benji back? Actually. I think there's something else I want to try painting. Ben? Could you bring me a banana, please? <laughs> Every artist trains by painting fruit. I think it's only suiting. Thank you, sir. There you go. Let's select uh, the colors for our palette. really inspired. This banana is so uninspiring. It's missing something. Oh, ban! Ban! An artist 
is calling for Ben. Yeah. Do you mind stepping in for a second? <laughs> It'll only take an hour or two. <laughs> Sit on the pedestal, please. That's perfect. Hey, Daddy. I defied your shirt. I ain't gonna listen to no shirt. Why am I holding this? Okay, hold the banana, but hold it in a place like close to your heart. Not actually close to your heart, but just, you know, emotionally close to your heart. <laughs> what the f are you talking about? I'm trying about? to paint emotions, babe. I need you to convey them. I don't know how to be emotional with banana. What if you put it in your ear? Block out the noise of the world. Oh, I see. Let's begin with a dark silhouette, as there is a deep darkness within. <laughs> yeah. Menchi, can you come back in the shot? No, she's stunned for the day. I look like a skinny legend. <laughs> Good technique there. Hello, banana? Yeah, she's making me be in a video again. Why do I do it? Uh, mostly the money. Keep talking to that banana. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Banana. Get me the president nail polish. I have an emergency. I'm right here. So if you haven't noticed yet, my technique is... Garbage. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Stay I'm, still. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the ben? banana. <clears throat> As I was saying, it's not about realism. Because I, I don't like being realistic, except when it comes to your career and your financial stability and future. But when it comes to art, I am not realistic. I prefer abstract. That's what everyone says when they're not good at art. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this arm is kind of going towards the, the crotch region. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You put your arm oh. there. <laughs> Nothing exists outside the text. It is completely up to what you... The text? What text? This is a picture. <laughs> no, like, have you ever read a book where the author will come out after the fact and give an interview where they say, well, I actually meant for that character to be gay, or after the book that character killed themselves. Like, no, f off with that. Nothing exists outside of the text or the work of art. Okay, so what Ben is trying to say is that he doesn't exist, but this work of <laughs> art does. Maybe, oh, it's coming to me. <laughs> oh. I... <laughs> what the f is that? Shh. Just feel it. <laughs> Did you take art class in high school? Uh-huh, and I got A pluses. <laughs> The worst grade I've ever gotten in my entire life was grade 8 art class. That's pathetic. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I can't draw at all. You can't draw conclusions either. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is Ben thinking of vacations that aren't really there. <laughs> it's accurate, huh? Oh, it's brilliant. It's good. <laughs> all right, let's go for the banana, shall we? I'm gonna throw this banana at you. I feel tired of holding a banana to my face. Tired. That's a good one. I must go to my boring crumbs for this. There, I've got some tired looking colors. Am I just a torso or? Aren't we all just a body? <laughs> a vessel for something unknown. Okay. You're doing great, sweetie. Let's give you a little stylish quaff. You making me look like Jacob Sartorius? It's kind of boyish <laughs> right now. <laughs> but that's okay, we can work with it. Paint me like one of your boys. <laughs> Makeup looks good today. You know why? <laughs> why? Because I'm an artist. <laughs> ben is screaming for escape. <laughs> you look like a blow up doll. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> now I'm just adding in some shadows, some shade, because as we know, Ben is very shady. Here we go. Make me look like a mime or something. Isn't that how you feel? <laughs> Give you a nice jawline too, how about that? Nice definition. Ben likes definitions, especially from the Tax Act. This is where we really incorporate <laughs> the emotion. Now I would want to keep this, but if it means a lot to you, we could wrap this up and give this to your parents for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice of you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's perfect. I've really done a great job. <laughs> Truly. I'm glad you think so. I think I'm ready. Ready for what? To paint myself now. Oh, is that what you're supposed to be doing? Yeah, this was just practice. <laughs> I'm gonna need a picture for inspiration. Hold on. That's it. That's the one. The sock hood really does a good job at capturing the essence of me. It is a singular moment of emotionless emotion. 
if you know what I mean. And this is why a lot of art makes no sense to other people. <laughs> Sometimes people think that I must be good at art because I was good at nail art back in the day. But the reality is doing nail art is like doing tiny, tiny scale real art. And if you were to ask me to paint what I did on a nail on a giant canvas, it would be like impossible. I'm not that good. Mm. I don't think I've got my proportions quite right. <laughs> the one thing I do like about art is that it's very subjective. You know, someone could think that this is a piece of shit, and I can think it's great, and it's fine, because both of our opinions would be valid. Oh, I know. Hold on. Dab, 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 make your artwork fab. <laughs> I wonder if Bob Ross thought of that. We're getting somewhere. Now I know the hood strings in the reference photo are white, but art is all about interpretation. And I feel like making them purple. Perfect. <laughs> it's missing some noise in the background. You know, I'm pulling myself into a hood, but why? Come on, drip. Yes, that's it. All right, we're gonna add some color. It's not everything is dark and angsty. Just when I was a teenager, it was. This is a great use of gravity. It's a little imbalanced though. I think we need something at the bottom half. What if I flip it upside down and do the drifts from the other? That's it. Okay. It's come to me. Because sometimes your world is turned upside down. Nail polish is actually a really interesting medium to work with. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. With real paint, I don't know if you could quite get the same dripping effect. Well, certainly not with oil paint. Maybe with watercolor you could do that. I don't know. I don't know much about real paint. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Or maybe I'm just high from all the nail polish fumes. <coughs> Anyone got an air purifier? Fun fact, this is kind of like how I did my intro card. <laughs> with the pink hollow glitter drips. I drip them down just like this over a mirror. Nail polish is really quite beautiful when you think about it. It's got all these different dimensions and shifts to it. It's kind of 3D when you drip it out like this. It's perfect. Whew, my eyes are burning. <laughs> I like how the sock doesn't know what's up and what's down. You see here that the sock is resilient no matter what the world is throwing at it. From all angles, there is protection in the sock. There is comfort. There is warmth. There is perseverance. <laughs> and those of you who've been watching me for a long time and on my second channel may remember me opening this on Simply Mail Logical when you guys sent this to me probably over a year ago now. Jessica painted this with nail polish. I think this is an amazing depiction of what you can do with nail polish. If you didn't get that already from, from my artwork over there. <laughs> what do you think? 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 When life imitates art. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Comment down below. You know, I've never really explored using nail polish on such a large canvas. Actually, that's not true. I painted a car with nail polish once, but aside from that, <laughs> subscribe to my art channel. <laughs> hey, there's art and simply nail. No, there's not. There's nail and simply nail logic. <laughs> this was fun and all, but I think I'm gonna stick to smaller canvases. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!